you are the master. Mine is your servant. That's the correct relationship. Sometimes I say, don't try and stop your thoughts. Allow them full range to express themselves. But don't identify. Try and see. Just be an audience to your own thinking that's going on by itself. You say, okay, I didn't order a takeaway of thoughts. Okay, they come. Eyes open. Okay. And then something panics and go, oh no, you know, I wish. Which also adds to fuel to that fire because it's like resistance. And it seems sometimes some negative aspect of mind grows with resistance. So you watch this, be aware of this. Don't say, okay, let I want to stop it, although it's natural to have this desire for a minute. But if that desire comes also, just let that join the fire like everything else. You stay out of it as much as possible. Maybe it might feel like, you know, oh my God, this is even worse. I can't do it. This is going to really, it really is overtaking me. No, then be fully overtaken. Allow yourself to say, okay, overtake me. But I'm only, I'm only permitted just to look, not to interpret, not to judge, you know, because this is what's been pulled up here. The sap is rising, you know, to identify, uh, you know, it's me, you know, I, I wish I'd stop this. Ah. And it's, the fire is crackling now, it's on full bonfire. But let it happen and stay out of it, stay in your own neutrality. At first, like I say, it may feel like it's impossible, it's impossible. But then you recognize that this voice that says it's impossible is also firewood. You stay there and see. You can say, don't try to prevent. Okay, throw your best punch. Burn my world. At the beginning, sometimes the inquiry is being used more as a pacifier or a painkiller or something. So there is still, it's not true. It's, it's as though you're looking for rescue. And I don't want you to look for rescue. Because then you are automatically in the position of a victim. You understand? You're just the eyes looking. And the body feeling. Let the body feel the presence energetically of fear and noise. And, and find your peace in it. How are you going to do it? By not having any desire. Don't say, no, I wish this would stop. I wish this. No, don't wish it would stop. Let it just be there. Just like you are only a visitor through your eyes alone. Be alive only through your eyes alone. And say, come, okay, keep coming. Mm. You know, and watch the crack. It's okay. It's your way out of this. So something comes out of this experience that you're not just going around trying to put out fires. You are simply just aware of yourself, not aware of that, because this is where the power goes. We keep wanting to change the picture. You keep wanting to change the picture, which is a projection. So don't try and change the picture or the one who is looking. Don't try and change anything. Just be present without identifying. And let the feeling take over. Be at this place at least to say, okay, what am I trying to salvage here? What am I so afraid to lose? And maybe what the threat is, because the mind must have something to blackmail you with. And identify what this is. And often it is the fear of the loss of consciousness, the loss of existence, that maybe this will remove my existence. Then you can become a trader. Yeah. Mm. And so what happened is that sometimes it comes in you, it did here, when it said, okay, even if it meant the removal of this life, the finishing, I was ready for it, so okay, go. Because I found something. I said, okay, see if you can remove this then. Rather than to live for the rest of my life, you know, cowering under the threats of the mind or something. So something came there and it's tremendous. It belongs with us. I feel it is part of the auspiciousness of being a human being that you can come to this this recognition. Then, okay, what am I striving so hard to preserve? 
then I open it up to to the infinite. Go do it. This is what Ramanan did, no? When he was a boy, he was visiting I think his uncle's house, 17 years old or 16 years old. And while he was there alone in the room, he had a panic attack. And he felt in that moment, I'm going to die. He was so sure about it. Like I'm going to die. He was like this. And somehow he felt as you do growing up in India, you see lots of dead bodies. He knows. He said, "Okay, I'm going to help the death." So he, he stretched himself out like a corpse, like this, and he actually felt like death was was arriving. This kind of tightness, and but something inside was not a part of this experience. This is what he came to see in the, in that moment. He said, "If I'm going to die, I don't want to miss it." what will happen until the lights go out and the lights did not go out he found instead that there is a power there that he could feel the full presence of his being that was not on the threat it was not going out something the body was behaving maybe the body was going blue or something like this but something else is here that uh, that wasn't caught in this process and it took this experience somehow maybe to shock forever the fear out of himself and that was his moment of awakening and some 50 years later his body did die actually physically and many wonder where is where is he now what is his state because he conquered death then in fact because he welcomed he says okay if this is my threat you know then Okay, I want to see what happened. If this body is going to go through a spontaneous combustion, <laughs> only your socks left. Okay, then I want to see up to the last moment how it happened. I want to see what happened. You can have this uh, attitude, you know. Okay, this fear. Okay, wake up in the morning, and <sighs> the show starts, and it's. find yourself in this. So okay, go on. Go on. Okay. It's like this. I'm not going to sit there going, "Oh, it's another terrible day. What am I going to do? I wish it was stop. Oh my god, you know. I know maybe I need to go on a holiday. I need to go to India. I need some satsang." So just stay in this moment. Say, "Okay, come. Do it." I can't emphasize more strongly that encouragement to let it go through you not you go through it let it go through you it's been hiding from it you know i feel that i've been like covering and you're very hiding <laughs> is itself energizing it mm. because the moment because you're looking for mercy for yourself like you know please sometimes you're praying to the mind mind please be good today <laughs> please don't show me up please please looking for mercy from the mind it's not a good relationship it's not a good relationship because Mm. You are the master. Mine is your servant. That's the correct relationship.